the things that I do like about the film is that no one is being told what to do. And I think even if all you do is shift your awareness a little bit, that's a change, right? Absolutely. Not everybody is going to be able to do what these people in this film did because they're sort of remarkable, right? Not sort of, but they're pretty remarkable. And they really are sort of on the cutting edge of really trying to change things. But we can all be degrees back from that, and that's still just as legitimate, right? Absolutely. Um, and that's what I do like. It's like you didn't make it sound like we have to all go out and, you know, I don't know. Get rid of our cars. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, can't. No, no one person I think is going to save the world. But yeah. we, we talk a lot about the power of film. Actually, we were talking earlier too about th that there's quantitative and qualitative ways to measure film. And I, I also believe that there is a space for filmmakers to just be filmmakers and, and to have art for art's sake. Um, at the same time, I think Jeff and Zach witnessed something that was so remarkable and so you know devastating. That they felt this need to to tell other people when they when they came back from Australia they were they were different people. I think um, a lot of the the crew on our team have been different. Um, I, I I think it's affected me. It's affected Larissa. It's it's like you when you have that knowledge, um, it's hard to kind of erase it. It's hard to like not do anything right. about it. Right. And I would actually pause because I know we're coming at this like very positive and hopeful, um, but I bet some of you out there probably don't want to hear that, mm -hmm. and that's totally fine. Um, and uh, and we've, we've gone to a lot of screenings, um, and we've experienced a lot of different reactions to the to the screenings, and I would say like, you know, it's it's like uh, experiencing the loss of a person, you know, and, you, and everybody goes through their stages of grief, and I think we've caught everybody at different stages of that grief. Some people, are very angry and they they just don't think anything can happen from from this. Um, some people are very sad, like they come up after after the screening and just want a hug, um, and that's totally cool. Um, so I I think we're hopeful just because um, you know we've we've sat through a ton of interviews with scientists, um, usually telling the worst facts. And Larissa said like we we held back the punches in this in this film, but. Um, at the end of the interviews, you know, we'd always talk about hope, and what, and if the scientists are hopeful about it, that's that's what makes me hopeful about it. It's about the technology that can then, that can kind of keep catch up to uh, to the effects of climate change. Yeah, like Ove has been working on this science for thirty years. He's known about it for thirty years, and yet he still goes to work every day because he cares so much about the ecosystem that he has fallen in love with. So I, I think there there is this incredible power to film. Um, and and I think just like Mark and, and Jeff had both seen Indiana Jones when they were really <laughs> little, like age eight or something. <laughs> and y you can't measure the impact that a film has like that, but they both want to explore the world. They both want to be adventurous. They both want to seek out different perspectives. And they both want to fight evil, you know. <laughs> um, and, and I think that there's something so powerful about just a film being able to to inspire something in someone that you may never be. It's so intangible. Yeah.